what we are doing today is we're uh, making, uh, actually making our first self-reacting friction stir weld of the uh, ring to the body of the, uh, uh, of the adapter. We're building at Marshall the actual piece of hardware that adapts the Delta IV rocket to the MPCV spacecraft. This is an important milestone because this is the first time we'll be doing a full circumferential weld on our multi-purpose crew vehicle spacecraft adapter Pathfinder hardware. Uh, the Pathfinder is being used to develop the processes and the techniques that we're going to use on the actual flight hardware that will fly on the EFT-1 test flight. Well, you don't want to go into building flight hardware with any questions. So that's what you do in development. You're actually answering questions and providing risk mitigation for when you actually do get into production or building the flight hardware. We've made the vertical welds on a different tool, uh, and those turned out very well. However, a circumferential weld is a little more difficult. For one thing, it goes the entire circumference, so it's much longer. Uh, once you start, you need to complete the whole weld. So we want to make sure with our Pathfinder that we've got the processes in place to do this successfully on the flight hardware. We do not compete uh, with uh, private industry in terms of building hardware. That's production. Government doesn't do production, but we do do the development. And if you build the expertise, you have the expertise in terms of the welding engineers, the materials engineers, mechanical engineers, the, the welders, the technicians, and the, and the hardware people, you build that type of expertise and you can actually manage your programs better because you have the insight into what it takes to build the hardware.